This morning, a local oversight board says it is ready to hire a police monitor after years of sitting vacant. Why some are not happy about the decision. I was scared for my life. Also, we're hearing from the teenagers who say they were forced to the ground by men, including their athletic director. The new developments this morning, including who has a restraining order out against them. It is a lot warmer this morning than it was yesterday morning. It feels great outside. We're going to talk about the warm up today and a big drop in temperatures to come. Good morning, folks. Welcome to News for Now this morning on a Tuesday morning. Live from the News for Now weather patio. A couple of technical difficulties right now. We've got no lights. <laughs> But no look at lights. us out here. <laughs> We're just emerging from, you know. This is live TV, folks. I feel like this is, yeah, oh my gosh. Stanford's giving me the new TVs there. I feel like this is like Michael Myers. Do, 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 oh my gosh. But hey, what is it, like 50 degrees out here right now? It doesn't yeah. feel too shabby. It does still feel good. So that is the good news overall. A lot of those temperatures hanging out into uh, the 40s and 50s for you this morning. 49 in La Crosse, 46 in Milwaukee this morning. Rockford, Illinois at 52. We're at 50 right here in Madison. So it does feel good. Winds are out of the south at three miles per hour. That southerly wind has been what has kept us so mild throughout your overnight hours. We could have had temperatures drop into the 40s, but those winds out of the south have really been working to counteract that. Doppler track quiet this morning. There's a chance we see some showers on Doppler track later on this afternoon and evening. We'll keep a close eye on it. What I'm really watching are the showers that you see around central Minnesota right now. That's part of a cold front that'll come through over night and towards tomorrow that is the cold front that begins to usher in quite a big change around here that being said check this out we're at 68 by noon today we're well on our way into the low 70s for those afternoon highs it will feel good we'll talk about when that changes though coming up in just a bit all right chris uh, step into the light inside <laughs> would you it's working on it season <laughs> all right uh such uh a wonderful story to report for you this morning. We are at the 44th Badger Honor Flight, which is just about to take off from the Dane County Regional Airport. Our Shane Hogan is there live with today's festivities and why this event means so much to the veteran. Yeah, that's right, guys. Thank you so much. No lighting issues here at Dane County Regional Airport. Glad you guys are uh, back on screen there. But, Chris, you mentioned about donations and helping out in our previous half hour. Well, I'm glad we can talk about that a little bit more right now as the vets begin to board the flight. I'm here right now with Gordy Kopke. He's the owner of Gordy's Flowers. Gordy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You're welcome. I'm glad I can be here. So, we're talking about kind of uh, Kopke's part in playing playing a part in this whole situation you guys helped raise a lot of money for this what does that mean for you to be able to give back on such a special occasion like this uh, it's really a humbling experience for me personally to see the behind the scenes uh, about a dozen years ago I was fortunate enough to watch a uh, plane load of people coming into Oshkosh that were okay. veterans from mostly from World War II and when I saw the emotion that these guys were filled with it for the appreciation coming from those that were watching I felt that I had to do something myself, uh, whatever I could, and we started doing a fundraising event at our greenhouse uh, Memorial Day weekend. That's great, and you've been doing that for years now. Can you talk a little bit about this year, how much money you guys have raised, and kind of what goes into your fundraising event for helping uh, to put this on? We uh, have our crew that puts together special patio container planters, and then we have an auctioneer who donates his time, and we donate the, our product, and we auction the, the items off, and then the whole weekend we also do a little brat and hamburger stand, and where we sell food to the customers, and 100% of the donations go to the cause of uh, Badger Honor Fund. That's awesome. Well, it would not be possible without, uh, you know, donations from Poppy's Greenhouse. Gordy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's been a great morning all morning long, guys. They're, they're just about getting ready to board the flight here. And we've got some more information coming up. And be sure to check it out later this morning also on Channel3000.com. All right. Shane Hogan live at the Dane County Regional Airport this morning. Shane, thank you.
Happening today, Madison's Common Council will vote to appoint John Tate II to the city's first ever independent police monitor position. Now, this comes just four months after Governor Evers asked Tate to step down as the chairman of the state's parole commission. Tate's resignation came after a controversy involving the parole of Douglas Balsewicz, a man convicted of killing his wife in 1997. Governor Evers later asked Tate to rescind the parole decision after meeting with the victim's family, which Tate did in May before resigning in June. Now the only thing standing between Tate and the role of the independent police monitor is approval from Madison's Common Council. In a statement announcing Tate's hiring, Police Civilian Oversight Board Chair Keetra Burnett says, quote, We believe that Mr. Tate's ability to stand firm in support of difficult decisions and his proven ability to collaboratively solve problems by engaging with and centering the voices of diverse community members will make him a tremendous asset to our community. If approved, Tate will begin his new role on December 5th and receive an annual salary of $125,000. Here this morning, Madison police are looking for a man in his late 20s who accused of breaking into an apartment and sexually assaulting someone. This specific incident happened Sunday morning on West Gorham near the UW campus. Police say multiple people called reporting the man inside of their apartment. They say the suspect is between the ages of 25 and 30, six feet tall with a medium build and short dreaded hair. This is the third sexual assault in that area in the last two weeks. If you know anything about it that could help authorities, please contact Madison Police. And developing this morning, the chance of a nationwide railway strike just got higher after union members voted against the proposed five-year contract. The contract the union rejected was reached after marathon negotiations last month, which included direct intervention by President Biden. The White House is trying to avoid a freight, uh, freight railway strike because it would put extra pressure on all already sustained supply chains. The union says it will now try to hammer out a new deal with the nation's top railway managers. But if there's no deal by November 19th, the workers could go on strike. Two other railway unions are still voting on last month's deal. Now to an update on a story we first brought you last week. Baraboo School District has their athletic director on non-disciplinary leave this morning. It's for his alleged actions to try and stop five teenagers from TPing a home. John, Teflon, Trayvon, Orlando, and a fifth friend were on their way to TP a friend's house as a homecoming prank. It all went downhill when three men, including athletic director James Langkamp, were sitting and waiting for the boys. Orlando and Trayvon ran. John and Teflon were forced to the ground with their hands up. Their white friend who stayed was not. I don't think any of us thought that there was a racial component until the young man stepped forward and said that he was not grouped with them, that he was not subjected to the same intimidation. We didn't even like get to the house, to be honest. Like we just turned around the corner on the street and the dude was there with like a flamethrower. And then we all kind of like panicked. John's mother, Kiana, has been granted a restraining order against Lane Camp. Trayvon's mom, Sarah, is also filing a restraining order. Lane Camp told police that he wasn't involved in the incident until the car had already stopped and the boys were on the ground. According to court records for one adult, John Kohler, he is now charged with disorderly conduct. Time right now, 6.08, and coming up in the 6.08 this morning, we'll show you how a local high school is serving up life-changing skills to students with special needs. Plus, rolling across the dance floor, meet the determined woman who's passionate about dancing and wants others to feel the same way. I love being an orthopedic surgeon because I can help people improve their lives. My name is Ashish Ravel. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. My specialty is sports medicine, focusing specifically on the care of the shoulder, hip, and knee. Precision engineering. Rigorous attention to detail. A Bryant Evolution heating system is so well designed, it's as much of a joy to install as it is to use. Good to go. Bryant. Whatever it takes. In the Oregon area, contact Tarkenton Brothers Heating and Sheet Metal for quality comfort solutions. The house before you, over 30 years old, still has its original windows. Boom. 
to be afraid of old windows. Call Feldco for 50% off. It's the biggest sale of the season. 50% off Feldco windows, plus no money down and no interest until 2024. 50% off windows ends soon. Call now. For quality windows, siding and doors, call 866 for Feldco. The Internet of Things is evolving, creating the Internet of You. And Spectrum, America's leading Internet and mobile provider, is bringing you seamless connectivity across all your devices. Introducing Spectrum One. Spectrum Internet with speeds of 300 megabits, advanced Wi-Fi, and Spectrum Mobile Unlimited, all for just $49.99 a month. Call 833-673-4999. Spectrum Internet delivers speeds up to a gig with over 99.9% .9 network reliability. Advanced Wi-Fi provides enhanced security and privacy that automatically blocks threats to protect all of your devices. And Spectrum Mobile gives you unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G and the most reliable service coast to coast. Switch now. Call 833-673-4999. At Spectrum, it's not just about connecting things. It's about connecting you. Get it all with Spectrum One, Spectrum Internet, Advanced Wi-Fi, and one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for $49.99 a month. Call 833-673-4999 or visit a Spectrum store today. Ortho Team Clinic, uh, we're able to provide comprehensive shoulder care to really address all the different shoulder problems that a patient may have. Listening is at the center of how we're able to treat these patients effectively. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. We're back at 611. Time to slow things down and see what's happening in the 608 this morning. A coffee shop in Wanakee is spreading positivity and inspiration by showing off different abilities. Take a look. This is a great program that they had, and it's something great for the students. It's really embraced. It's, the students thrive with it, and it's just something that I think is really important for our school district to continue, and I really wanted to make sure that our students had this opportunity. All right, are you ready? In Wanaki High School, you'll find the Coco Pelli Cafe, a coffee shop that sells beverages and treats. Coco Pelli Cafe is run by students with special needs. School officials say it teaches the students transitional work skills and provides interaction with others. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll show you how it's enabling students to learn functional, transitional, vocational, and social skills in a real life environment. An amazing story showing off the abilities of a lot of folks coming up around 645. It's a win-win all the way around. And uh, to see the smiles on the kiddos' faces, oh, my gosh. oh, it makes it all worth it. It is a hit up in Wanakee, too. I mean, it just spreading that inspiration and joy to others is huge. Uh, I love what they're doing up there. Remember, you can always let me know what inspires you in the 608 for a chance to be featured here. You can reach out either on social media or email right there on your screen. Uh, please stick around for that story. Uh, coming up at 645, it's my favorite story of the morning. So... I hope you do. Let's check in with Chris Reese now. He's got your first one certified most accurate forecast. Hey there, Chris. Hey, good morning. Here's what we're looking at. Three things to know for you headed out the door. One, 70s are expected this afternoon. It is going to feel good. We're going to see a chance of showers and thunderstorms developing late overnight, especially by Wednesday, and then a much cooler pattern gets ready to take hold right here across the upper Midwest. Here are some of those temperatures headed out the door, by the way. Watertown, you're at 43 right now. 50 for Mineral Point, 52 in Prairie du Chien. Watoma's at 34, 46 in Janesville, 48 in Monroe. You focus in on uh, the Madison Metro, and you see the same story. 45 for Cottage Grove, Mount Horeb at 48. It's 50 at the airport, 50 in Sauk City as well. Winds have been out of the south all night long, and that's really been helping to keep those temperatures on a milder note. Generally, if the winds were non-existent or out of the north, 
we would have fallen more so, more so towards that dew point that's into the mid-40s. But the southerly wind is helping to keep things mild. It's also going to help pump a little bit more moisture in here. There's not a ton, but you do see a cold front back to the north and west. This has some showers developing across parts of central Minnesota. Then the big kicker, this really sends the colder air in play. That's over parts of Montana. That's going to be zipping across the northern plains and into southern Wisconsin over about the next 24 to 36 hours as well before all is said and done. That being said, let's plan the day. That's what we do here on News 3 Now this morning. This is noon. We'll still see that sunshine. Winds are still out of the south. A lot of those temperatures are still to the 70s at that point. Now we're at 3 o'clock this afternoon. 71, that's where our temperature stands. We're starting to see a surge of that moisture moving into southeastern Wisconsin. And this is where today you have your best shot of seeing some showers of thunderstorms. So communities in our immediate viewing area with the best chance for rain, Beloit, Janesville, over towards uh, really the edge of Jefferson County. That's where you might run into a shower or two. Otherwise, the best chance of rain really happens overnight towards tomorrow morning, 6 o'clock. You're headed to work tomorrow. Won't be a washout by any means, but nonetheless, some showers, a few thunderstorms. Could be on the map, something to contend with, and then eventually the actual cold front comes through late morning. Drier air moves in behind it, so that's that's a return of sunshine by the afternoon tomorrow. Then by the evening, the real cold front gets through. What you're seeing up in Montana right now doesn't move through until the evening time tomorrow. This brings in another round of showers and then the true colder air to follow that up. This is where Thursday, we don't get out of the 40s, perhaps some clouds, I can't even rule out some spotty showers into Thursday as things are going to be a lot cooler at that point. The next cold front set to arrive over the weekend. Check it out from 70s to 40s this week, back into the 50s Saturday and Sunday, and then 40s and 20s to open up the following week. All right, Chris, thank you. 616 is your time. Dancing can help tell a story. For a Madison woman, her story is one of determination and creating opportunity. 20 years ago, Martha Sarabo suffered a spinal injury in a car accident, and she's been in a wheelchair ever since. But she isn't letting that stop her from dancing the night away. Our Charlotte Deleste reports. It's like a new freedom. gives a new sense of self-worth. And it's a place of beauty and grace. That is how Martha Saravo describes what it's like to dance in her wheelchair. It's almost like going to therapy, but you're having fun. And you're getting to go yourself, and you're actually just exploring what your own body is doing. She got bit by the dancing bug a year and a half ago and has been taking weekly lessons at Fred Astaire Dance Studios in Brookfield. It's the only studio in the state that offers ballroom dancing for those with mobility challenges. For Martha, it's been incredibly transformative. You don't see your body in the same way after you go on the dance floor. You see it in a completely unique way and you see your skills and your style and your soul. Walk. Walk, shift, shift, close. Now give me that nice strong frame again. Matthew Payne is one of Martha's dance instructors and was with her this summer when she took her newfound skills and abilities to the nation's first wheelchair dance competition. I love to see the progression. I think the competition that we had, the first ever wheelchair competition in Michigan, was by far the most amazing way to introduce people to dance mm -hmm. in a way that was so rewarding. <laughs> showing the judges just how capable she really is. As Martha savors the ballroom bliss... I would love to see other representations of myself on the dance floor. Being on a dance floor with more of your peers when you're a wheelchair user is incredibly empowering. Martha's now spinning her wheels to get others like her on the dance floor through her new organization called Wheels and Heels. I saw what dance mobility offered to the local community here and realized that not a single dancer can participate in a truly meaningful way without some sort of financial intervention. She hopes to start adaptive dance classes in different studios starting in Madison and provide financial assistance to budding ballroom dancers. This should be available to more people because of what it brings to an individual. It 
It's, that it's, it's just a soul-fulfilling opportunity. An opportunity for others to express themselves and move in a way they didn't think possible. The freedom that comes from dancing where you didn't think that it was a possibility for you. A beautiful place to, to be and man, it just, it brings so many, so much joy. Very nice. That was Charlotte Deleste reporting. More news now. The Coats for Kids campaign wants to thank everyone who contributed to this year's event. Right now, the current total is 4,022 winter coats. If you or someone you know needs a warm winter coat this year, you can stop by the Community Action Coalition's warehouse at 1902 Wright Street in Madison on October 27th and 28th between noon and 6 at night. There will be a variety of coats to pick from, from infant to adult sizes. If you have any questions, we've got the number Number posted on channel3000.com. Capitol Police getting a new life-saving tool. It was donated to them by the Freemasons of Cambridge. It's a device called a Greenport Portable Fire Suppression Tool. It can be carried in any first responder vehicle, and when deployed, the fire is extinguished, and the temperature inside the enclosure drops over a thousand degrees. As you can imagine, it makes it easier to extract trap firefighters or citizens. Continuing coverage this morning, Elon Musk has commissioned a report on Twitter bots as part of his legal battle with the social media platform. The analysis conducted by Cybra found Twitter had more fake accounts than other comparable social platforms. The firm says bots make up about 11% of the total user base. Cybra used a machine learning algorithm to analyze hundreds of parameters to determine which accounts are authentic. The the prevalence of bots has been a sticking point in Musk's $44 billion acquisition, acquisition rather, of Twitter. 621 is your time. Coming up in our next half hour, why the Bipartisan Wisconsin Elections Commission is working against multiple election policies. Stay with us. We'll be right back. This portion of News 3 Now is sponsored by Shopco Optical. Cobus and Buses, now hiring. My name is Mike Williams. I've been driving school bus off and on for 21 years. Here at our terminal, we're kind of like a family too. Somebody has an issue with a bus, other people kick in and help and get the job done. The women I see have been through brutal, unimaginable things. I'll never understand why politicians like Ron Johnson make it so hard for women. He supported the Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade, outlawing abortion in Wisconsin, even for victims of rape and incest. Abortion is criminalized in Wisconsin. Doctors can be prosecuted. My most vulnerable patients will have nowhere to turn. Ron Johnson doesn't care about us. SMP is responsible for the content of this ad. Reviews are very important. It really reflects on how we're handling customers at Precision Door. It's feeling like I'm helping out my neighbor. Quality service quickly from a name you can trust. Precision Door service, a name you can trust. Welcome. We're so glad you're here. Looking for one of our most capable Ford SUVs? Okay, great. We've got you covered. Spacious interiors, innovative tech, good looks, and a legendary off-road experience. Check out our inventory today, or let us help you place a custom order. Getting into the perfect Ford SUV? Well, it's easier than ever. Yeah, we've got you covered. Now choose FlexFi on a 2022 Ford Escape or Edge and get 0% financing for 66 months. Wells Fargo lets you know where you stand with your FICO credit score. What if you knew where you stood with everything? Like your future in-laws. Hope you like cats. Uh, I hope your parents like me. <laughs> ah, they're whispering. The kid is like <laughs> Can they tell I'm allergic? Tears of joy. Welcome to the family. <laughs> like knowing where you stand? When it comes to your credit score, you can with Wells Fargo. Tuesday. Every Tuesday at Papa Murphy's, you can get any large pizza for just $10.99, which makes Tuesday the best day to bring home all your favorites. We might have too many favorites. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. Most senators couldn't tell you the cost of a gallon of milk. Thanks, Ruben. Or how much beef has gone up this year. But I'm not like most senators or any of the other millionaires running for Senate. My mom was a teacher and my dad worked third shift. I know how hard you work. And I know that by bringing manufacturing home, we create jobs and we lower costs. 
If we want to change Washington, we got to change the people we send there. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. Cobison Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit cobison.com to apply. Welcome back, 624 on a Tuesday morning. Linda sharing her Saturday morning with us. Spooky season. I was going to say, is this the weather patio at the st <laughs> start of the six? <laughs> Wasn't well, that funny? Yeah, we showed up on the weather patio for those that uh, are just joining us, and the lights were not working, and there was no time to get inside. So, uh, very appropriate for uh, this time of year, uh, considering it is spooky season. It is spooky season. Josh's favorite. It is. <laughs> uh, thank you, Linda, for sharing your morning with us. A lovely photo. If you want to do uh, the same, just use the hashtag MyNews3Morning when you post on social media, and we'll share our favorites right around this time every day. I've got my new spooky season socks on this morning. You probably can't see them very well. But oh, show them off. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, go gonna, for it. Are we just going to take? Yeah, we're going to take. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Oh, sure. What do we got going on skin here? there, too. <laughs> Spider webs. <laughs> Not for free, Josh. Jack-o'-lanterns. A little bit of everything. Is that like a, supposed to be a castle? I think so. I have no idea. So, yeah, it's like a high-rise building yeah. with, with ghosts and goblins inside the lit windows. One of my it. aunts from Minnesota, she sends me a new pair every year, so I had to pull them out this morning. It's Always been Halloween socks. For everything, yeah. There you go. It's been working. Of course, we had the spooky start of the 6 o'clock show, so <laughs> it's like maybe I, like, manifested all of this. Yes. But. We'll blame Josh. <laughs> blame me. We'll blame Josh. Blame me for the technical issues. All right. Morning. Yeah, when we were outside, it wasn't feeling too bad. Where are we at right now, Chris? I'm still not feeling too bad. We might be spooky or any exams that anyone has headed to school this morning. <laughs> Temperatures will be right around 50, headed to the bus stop headed home from the bus stop we'll see those temperatures right. in the low 70s all right hey enjoy this uh, nice weather folks it won't last too long hey we'll have a live report from the airport as the badger honor flight is about to take off news three now first born weather is brought to you by lazy boy home furnishings and decor Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Your family's year-round comfort is our year-round commitment at RG Heating and Air Conditioning. We install quality train equipment and service all brands so your home's furnace and AC will perform their best year-round. RG Heating and AC. Hi V Red Hot Deals are super hot. This Monday through Thursday. Hi V Butter, only $1.48. Kellogg Cereal, only 99 cents. And Gala Apples, only 49 cents a pound. Monday through Thursday at Hy-V. Join us at the Madison Fall Parade of Homes, exclusively sponsored by Nuns. Visit and get inspired for your 2023 building and remodeling projects. Go to MadisonParadeOfHomes.com and purchase your tickets today. A 12-year-old girl can't legally drive a car. At 12, she can't even vote. But if this little girl were tragically raped or a victim of incest and became pregnant, Radical Tim Michaels would force her to deliver the baby. He said it's, quote, not unreasonable for the state government to mandate rape victims to give birth. Would it be unreasonable if he were forcing this on you? Let him know on Election Day. Today at overture.org. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Planet Fitness Guide to getting that post workout glow. Step one What's your why? More epic energy? Better sleep? Blow off steam? Step two Join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime, and get moving. Go cardio crazy in our clean and spacious clubs. Jam out on the strength machines and get down with some dumbbells. Step three Bask in that post workout glow. Join Planet Fitness today for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel any time. Deal ends Friday, October 14th. Reducing prison populations is now sexy. Reducing prison populations is now sexy. Sexy? Mandela Barnes' administration has released over 800 criminals, including 44 child rapists. That's not sexy. It's terrifying. And as a mother, I don't want Mandela Barnes anywhere near the Senate. 
From defunding our police to releasing predators, Mandela Barnes is a threat to Wisconsin families. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Hy-Vee Red Hot Deals are super hot. This Monday through Thursday, Hy-Vee Choice Reserve Sirloin Filets, only $1.99 each. Folgers Coffee, only $5.99. And cheese and Snack Crackers, only $0.99. Cents. Monday through Thursday at Hy-Vee. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. RG Heating and AC. We'll always treat you like family. Guaranteed. Right now, helping everyone vote. We're breaking down the different resources available this fall. Plus, the search is on for suspects this morning after a 12-year-old Wisconsin girl is killed in a double shooting. Where that investigation stands. A lot of those fall leaves are really starting to show off this week. We are nearing peak. We'll talk about how the weather is helping us out. Good Tuesday morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Josh Breider. Lee Lynchheit is enjoying the week off. Meteorologist Chris Reese is here with your forecast. Beautiful start to the morning out there. I wish it was one of those mornings that I was actually live outside because usually I'm always out there when it's freezing or rainy or one of the, yeah. yeah. So next week, uh, yeah, next sure you'll week, be nice and chilly yeah, out there. Yeah, I think it is. Like, was it Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> like in the say 40s? 40s and 20s next week? Oh so. my goodness, that's uh, just how lucky I am. But hey, it's nice being here with you guys on a enjoy Tuesday. Enjoy it while it lasts. Yes, there I we will, go. I will. And I think a lot of people enjoyed it too, especially at the bus stop today. Oh yeah, the bus stop weather gonna be comfortable for you. You're gonna see a lot of those leaves changing this morning as well. And we are near peak. I'd say peak when it comes to the leaves is about one to two weeks away. So we are getting there. Things are beautiful. Beautiful all across the state. I'll tell you what, here's part of why we've really seen those colors pop off. One, you've had the lowering sun angle, so that's what's brought out a lot of those oranges and yellows, but the crisp, cool nights we've had in those dry, mild days, that has really started to bring out a lot of the reds, those sugars, and a lot of those sugar maple leaves have really gotten going. That being said, there is a chance of rain coming our way, and we have a cold front that's going to come through and bring a lot of wind with it, too, so the goal is to hold on to as many leaves as we can. You see these showers across parts of central Minnesota. That will be a part of the rainmaker that ultimately makes its way into Wisconsin. But southern Wisconsin is dry. Headed out the door this morning. We'll warm up to 71 this afternoon. Clouds will be on the increase this evening. Your best chance of rain is overnight and tomorrow. All right, Chris Reese, thank you. A man is dead this morning after an eight-hour standoff with authorities in Rock County. This morning, the Sheriff's Department is investigating. It all happened in the town of Harmony. Deputies were checking on someone at a home around 11 o'clock in the morning. They talked to a man there, but he let a dog out and then retreated back inside. Now, because he was believed to have threatened and battered a woman on Sunday, police attempted to make contact again, then activated the SWAT and hostage negotiations teams. He was last seen in the window at 11.14 in the morning, 14 minutes later, and the SWAT team then entered the residence later that night, around eight hours later, where they found the subject deceased. His identity is not being released at this time. To election 2022 coverage this morning, a court ruling prohibiting the practice of ballot spoiling has been temporarily paused, at least until tomorrow. A Wisconsin Appeals Court grants the Wisconsin Elections Commission's request for a temporary stay while they decide whether to hear an appeal to the lower court's order. The court gave both sides until noon tomorrow to submit arguments. The order came while the Bipartisan Election Commission was in a closed session, as they were told by the Waukesha judge they had until 7 p.m. to tell local officials their ballot spoiling guidance had been withdrawn. The Bipartisan Wisconsin Elections Commission is working against multiple election policies. They couldn't agree last night on what to tell the state's local election officials about how to handle poll watchers. The commission split along party lines. All three Republicans voiced support for sending a notice to clerks, attempting to spell out what the law allows while all three Democrats opposed it, resulting in a deadlock vote and no change. The city of Madison, meanwhile, renewing its commitment to helping all voters as best it can. The goal is to meet the people where they are. That means educating everyone on accessible voting options. The city offering curbside voting if you find it difficult to access the polling room. Express Vote offers ballots in Braille and Spanish with headphones. You can also ask for help if you struggle to physically mark your ballot. The city uses guidance from Disability Rights Wisconsin to complete a polling list place checklist and to make sure that the special machines are set up properly. Telling someone 
well, sorry, we can't help you and have no options for them. That's a terrible situation that should never happen. The Wisconsin Elections Commission also monitors and provides feedback for improvement through accessibility auditors. 634 right now, Milwaukee police are looking for suspects this morning after a 12-year-old girl was killed in a double shooting. The girl was taken to a hospital where she later died from her injuries. The shooting, which took place around 6 o'clock last night, also injured a 26-year-old woman who is expected to survive. Continuing coverage now, prosecutors expect to wrap up their case against the Waukesha Christmas Parade driver sometime Friday. Prosecutors are also helping Darrell Brooks serve the subpoenas to witnesses in his defense of himself. Yesterday, witnesses and victims testified. I just remember being um, struck by the vehicle from behind, like on my, like my back. And then I, like I fell to my knees and kind of like rolled under uh, the vehicle. In regards to my before the jury entered, Brooks apologized for his disruptive behavior last week. Brooks repeatedly interrupted the judge, had to be moved to another room, and took off his shirt. Wisconsin veterans are heading to this nation's capital this morning on the Badger Honor Flight. Our Shane Hogan is live at Dane County Regional Airport with what the veterans are expected to do in Washington, D.C. Hi, Shane. Hey, Josh and Chris. It's been a great morning here at the airport. The group of veterans and their volunteers are already out there. They're starting to board the flight. We are joined this morning by Rachel Mosky, who is a volunteer here for Badger Honor Flight. Rachel, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thanks for being here and highlighting our, our day. Absolutely. It's been it's been great to be here. Now, you've got a special connection to today's particular flight. <laughs> I do. I have been a volunteer since the second flight. Um, but on today's flight, uh, my stepdad, and his brother are both on the flight. So I'm very excited. That's very <laughs> little cool. extra. The first time they are taking this trip to D.C.? Yep, uh, they'll be together uh, for their first time uh, to the memorials. That's very cool. And, you know, you've, been, you've said you've been uh, volunteering here since the second one. What keeps you coming back to volunteer for such a special event like this? You know, I'm very proud of, I have a, a number of family members who have served in the military. Um, that was always very important in our family. Um, I saw a news story on the first flight and and I thought, gosh, that's a group I'd absolutely like to be a part of and went to the meeting and I've been a volunteer since then. How cool 2010. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> now we're here in 2022. 44 flights have gone out, yes. including today's 44 have gone mm -hmm. out to DC. What do you hear from the veterans when they come home that resonates with you? Uh, you know, just they're very thankful. Um, so many of them, especially our Vietnam veterans, didn't. It's not even that they didn't get a welcome home. They just were, had such a poor welcome home. And so we're so honored to be able to give them that welcome home. Just the 24 hours with us can make a difference and kind of work on some of that that they didn't get back then. They can get now. Yeah, we've got one more uh, flight coming up here at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Can people still get involved if they'd like to? We are always looking for volunteers, especially um, our website, Badger Honor Flight. Uh, there's a way to sign up to be a volunteer. We've got a lot of opportunities, whether it's on flight day, fundraising, lots of different things you can help with. So yeah, but we do have the one more flight on August, uh, sorry, October 29th, and we're looking forward to that. All right, Rachel, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It really has been such a special morning here, guys, and they're heading out uh, to the airplane right now. They're going to get to D.C. later today, get to see so many memorials that are honoring their service, and uh, it's been really a special morning. So uh, check out for more coverage here coming up on channel3000.com as well. Yeah, a lot of emotion surrounding the day. I mean, it's such a, a well-deserved yeah, trip. Gosh, it's such, such a big deal. Once in a lifetime opportunity for a lot of these veterans. It doesn't cost them a penny, which means they rely on folks like you at home uh, to donate. Uh, so if you could help out Honor Flight, uh, Badger Honor Flight, uh, please, uh, please do so. They can continue to do these uh, wonderful acts for all the men and women who've served our nation. Shane Hogan, live at the airport this morning. Good reporting this morning, Shane. Appreciate it. 638 now as we take a look outside. It's a rather calm start to your Tuesday. Coming up, Chris is focused on the next rain chance and the next big push of cold air. He'll time it all out. Plus, a local high school finds a unique way to serve up life-changing skills to students with special needs. We pay a visit to the Coco Pelli Cafe in the 608. What you see is important. 
how you see is important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Right now, get 40% off lenses with the purchase of any frames. Shopco Optical. I'm Sheriff Jim Johnson. I'm Sheriff Eric Severson. We've got the real story on Mandela Barnes. Barnes wants to defund our police, but he spent over 600 grand of your money on police protection for himself. Barnes wants to eliminate bail for violent felons, and his administration has already released over 800 criminals, including 44 child rapists. Take it from us. Mandela Barnes' policies are a threat to your family. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. McGann Furniture and Flooring has a question for you. Do you have a hard time sleeping comfortably through the night? Is your mattress 10 years old or even older? Chances are you're due for a new one. Mattress technology has changed a lot in the last 10 years. Our experienced staff will help you find the right style, construction, and firmness that will give you years of sleeping comfort. And remember, we don't raise prices only to lower them later for a sale. With delivery and disposal of your old set, we make it easy to have the bed of your dreams at McGann Furniture and Flooring, downtown Baraboo. Welcome. We're so glad you're here. Looking for one of our most capable Ford SUVs? Okay, great. We've got you covered. Spacious interiors, innovative tech, good looks, and a legendary off-road experience. Check out our inventory today, or let us help you place a custom order. Getting into the perfect Ford SUV? Well, it's easier than ever. Yeah, we've got you covered. Now choose FlexFi on a 2022 Ford Escape or Edge and get 0% financing for 66 months. If you overdraw your account, Wells Fargo gives you an extra day grace period to avoid the overdraft fee. What if everything came with a grace period? Like accidentally parking where you shouldn't. Hey, what about this one? Nah, that one gets an extra day. Somebody got lucky. Like having an extra day grace period? When it comes to overdrafts, you can with Wells Fargo. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Don't need glasses. See us for your contacts and save on your annual supply. As political ads bombard you with campaign promises and claims to capture your vote, News 3 Now gives you a reality check, clarifying the candidate's messages and finding the facts to help you make informed choices. Reality Check, Wednesdays on News 3 Now at 6. The Wisconsin Broadcasters Association Foundation presents the 2022 Wisconsin gubernatorial debate. Incumbent Democratic Governor Tony Evers debates Republican challenger Tim Michaels Friday at 7 p.m. on WISC-TV. We're back at 641. Time to slow things down and see what's happening in the 608. This morning, we're getting an inside look at the Coco Pelli Cafe. The coffee shop located inside Wanake High School is run by students with special needs. Photojournalist Mark Schilling takes us inside. The community in the Wanake High School Good. really embraces the Coco Pelli with all of our different um, menu options of our coffees, ice drinks smoothies and then especially the brownies. Perfect. And it's a good way for us to show our abilities. There is a stigma and there is a thought that my students always need help and that maybe we can't do things as well as other people or that it's just not possible. And this is a way for us to show like we can do it and we can do this for you and we can do this with you. You know, we can do this together. They get credit for it, and they also get paid. And it's a really nice way for our students to learn new job skills and more independence. I love bacon. And we have teachers that have signed up and asked for a daily delivery. I get to teach kids how to do my job, which is I love my job, so I am glad to teach kids how to do it because it makes them happy to do their job without being, like, confused about everything else in the job workplace. Easy peasy. Yes. We got this. I also have mental disabilities also, which to me count as my strengths. My caseworker and my boss at the time thought it would be a great idea for me to do it because I'm super nice to people and I understand people and I get people. Miss Emma knows my order. Yes, he's a hazelnut. All right, this is my favorite. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Way 
way for the students in our program to interact with more of their peers. Brownies and uh, strawberry milkshakes. And it's very cheap. It's really good. It's so cheap. One dollar. Food's really good. It's really good. It's actually really good. They get stuff done really quickly. Yeah, I get it. Like, I get in there and I get it. Yeah, and then you get <laughs> right back out and go yeah. back to class. Yeah. Yes. Awesome job. You sold them all. Awesome good job. job. You guys, that was great team. My thanks to photojournalist Mark Schilling for putting that piece together. If you'd like to learn more about the Coco Pally Cafe, you can go to the story in the 608 section of channel3000.com. Such a wonderful story. Oh, oh my, my favorite goodness. of the morning. Isn't it just so cool to be able to see, and they have it up on the wall, is, you know, know me for my abilities, not my disabilities. And I think yeah. that's an important reminder for all of us. Like, we all come from different backgrounds, but we all bring something to the table, right? There's always something that you're going to be able to do to inspire others, and we want to keep seeing that. Gosh, and you can see that inspiration on their faces. Uh, you can tell they're just, uh, they, it's a great joy for them to go in and work yeah. and to share their work with their fellow classmates. You can uh, see some of them like bringing people together. Yeah. I love it. One of them, it's like, I love baking. The other ones, I love people. And you know, that's just so it's bringing important. Bringing out their strengths. And it's making such a difference there in Wanakee too. You can see it's just spreading joy along everybody, right? Love it's it. amazing. Love it. Makes me feel good here. Yeah. Remember to let me know what inspires you. Let's share some of that inspiration with others right here on News 3 Now this morning. You can reach out to me either on social media or email. All of that information right there on your screen for a chance to be featured. All right, let's check in with your certified most accurate forecast, Chris Reese. 50 degrees here in Madison, not too shabby. 50 degrees headed out the door. We love to hear it this morning. This is what you're going to feel as you step out as well. Beautiful sunrise taking shape on our Edgewater Sky Camera. Winds have been out of the south all night. That's worked in our favor. janesville has been at 46 for a while. 50 for Monroe, Mineral Point, Lone Rock, and Wisconsin Dells this morning. Watoma's at 34. All right, a little cooler there. 42 in Watertown, 45 for our friends uh, just to the north of that. With that being said, 46 for Stoughton, 48 in Oregon. Middleton's waking up at 47 degrees, 49 in Cross Plains. Verona and Cottage Grove all at 46. Sun Prairie and Wanakee are at 43. 50 for Madison. We're warming up to 71 for your highs later on this afternoon. You will also notice an increase in the cloud cover as we start to move towards the afternoon and evening as well. Part of that's going to be an increase in moisture from the south what I'm also tracking is a cold front to the north and west. So the showers that you see over parts of central Minnesota, that's going to be cold front number one. Cold front number two is across parts of Montana, and that's going to kick through here as well. That being said, there's just enough instability that the Storm Prediction Center has put out a marginal risk for any thunderstorm that goes up to be strong or severe, and that includes all of us here in south central Wisconsin. But I'll also tell you, I barely even buy that. I would not be surprised to see the Storm Prediction Center completely remove that later on. Here's part of why I say that. Lunchtime, we're still into the upper 60s and low 70s, but we're still dry around here. It's not until the evening that we get any kind of moisture that begins to surge towards the north, and most of that will be farther south and east. Places like Janesville and Beloit, you have a much better shot at seeing a shower this evening as opposed to anywhere else in the viewing area. The better shot for some thunderstorms happens overnight and early tomorrow. At this point, we've really lost a lot of our instability for those showers and thunderstorms. Then the cold front comes through one in the morning, clearing out behind it, and then the second cold front arrives tomorrow afternoon and evening. This is where temperatures really begin to drop. Thursday, you are not getting out of the 40s. It'll be relatively cloudy on Thursday, too. 48 for Friday. 50s for the weekend before another cold front, more 40s and 20s for Josh to sit outside every morning next week. <laughs> you know what? That's going to be the plan. Literally, I'm live on Monday morning again, so. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, get, get that coat clean. I am. You, uh, I know. i got to get prepared for that. Thank you, Chris. 6.48 is your time right now. Coming up in the morning sprint, why President Biden and other world leaders are holding an emergency G7 summit today. First, we want to say happy birthday to Connor and Gabby. And all the kiddos turning three today. Thanks for celebrating with us. We'll be right back. This portion of News 3 Now is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Warren's, Wisconsin. It's our biggest sale of the year. And you can save big. On quality home furnishings throughout the showroom. Join us for our anniversary sale. And help us celebrate. Over 25 years at Wanakee Furniture ETC.
I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. Ron Johnson caught lying. Independent fact checks call his attacks on Mandela Barnes false and misleading. But it's Johnson's views that are alarming. Johnson supported a ban on abortions. He co-sponsored a bill that makes no exceptions for rape, incest, or the life of the woman. And Johnson said if women don't like it, they can move. The truth is, it's Ron Johnson who doesn't belong in Wisconsin. Culligan Water delivers from your first call to your first sip to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. Here at Precision, we are veteran owned and we take pride in servicing not only our community but serving our country as well. No job is too big and no job is too small. Here at Precision, we'll fix them all. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. We make sit-down chicken, stand-up chicken, backyard chicken, oops chicken, lots of time chicken, no time chicken. If there's one thing we know, it's chicken, chicken, and chicken. More choices, more wow, more to love. Tyson. This ring is a commitment. After we got married, I got very sick. He will come every day to help me walk again. And now I'm back. This is a reminder that love endures all. Express your extraordinary love. Jared, love brilliantly. Family-owned Brothers Maine knows choosing appliances for a remodel or new build can be exciting and overwhelming. Our experienced staff has experienced it all as we've guided thousands of area families through appliance selection. Brothers Maine has a larger inventory and low-price deals that consistently beat competitors, including Big Box. You heard me, Big Box can't beat our prices. From sales to install, Brothers Maine does it all. Feel great about your purchases and feel like family at Brothers Maine. The women I see have been through brutal, unimaginable things. I'll never understand why politicians like Ron Johnson make it so hard for women. He supported the Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade, outlawing abortion in Wisconsin, even for victims of rape and incest. Abortion is criminalized in Wisconsin. Doctors can be prosecuted. My most vulnerable patients will have nowhere to turn. Ron Johnson doesn't care about us. SMP is responsible for the content of this ad. It's our biggest sale of the year. And you can save big. On quality home furnishings throughout the showroom. Join us for our anniversary sale. And help us celebrate. Over 25 years at Wanakee Furniture ETC. Become a casino guru at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. 6.52, time for the morning sprint. President Biden and other leaders of the group of seven nations will hold an emergency virtual summit today to discuss Russia's war with Ukraine. In the largest strike since the conflict began, Russia unleashed dozens of missiles on Ukrainian cities Monday, destroying buildings and knocking out power. Russia President Vladimir Putin says it was retaliation for an attack on a bridge in Crimea over the weekend. And we are live from the Dane County Regional Airport as the veterans are getting on the plane right now for the 44th Badger Honor Flight. They're heading to Washington, D.C. today to check out the memorials that were built in their honor of their service. There's one more Badger Honor Flight coming up. That's October 29th. You can check out badgerhonorflight.org for more information. And we'll have that info coming up on channel3000.com later this morning. Thanks, Shane. One of the three people accused of a kidnapping turned homicide over the summer will be in court this afternoon. Jakenya Patty is charged with first degree intentional homicide as a party to a crime. She was one of two people accused of driving the victim's car to rural Columbia County, where one of the other suspects shot the victim. Today is Patty's preliminary hearing. More freshman students are attending UW-Madison this fall than ever before. The university announcing more than 8,600 new freshmen are on campus this semester. Just under half of them, about 3,700, are from Wisconsin. Compared to last year, total campus enrollment is up more than 4%. Next week, homecoming for UW. The Alumni Association says this year's celebration features a host of events beginning next Wednesday, the 19th. Things will kick off with a family-friendly scavenger hunt Wednesday, then the annual Fill the Hill on Thursday, homecoming parade and pep rally Friday. Badgers take on Purdue Saturday afternoon. You can find all the specifics up this morning at channel3000.com. Members of the Department of Health Services highlighting statewide efforts to remove lead from drinking water. The Lead and Water Testing and Remediation Initiative helps child care facilities test and remove lead from water. 
Typically, children encounter lead through lead paint and paint chips, but 20% of a person's exposure can come from water, specifically drinking water. In 2019, more than 3,100 children across Wisconsin were identified as lead poisoned. In Badger football news, Kamoya Leitu named the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week for his performance on Saturday against Northwestern. Leitu picked off two passes and tallied three tackles in the win. Those two picks were the junior safety's first of his career. For the 34th year, the Goodman Community Center will be again offering Thanksgiving food baskets this year to help local families. The center will be open with registration next Monday and run until October 28th. This year, the goal is to provide 4,000 meals. If you'd like to support the drive, we have information on how to do so on channel3000.com. A nationally known artist who created a mural on Willie Street eight years ago is back in Madison. Michael Owens from Baltimore, best known as the founder of the Baltimore Love Project. He created more than 20 murals that spell out the letters love across his home city. And in 2014, has expanded that since then to cities across the country. Madison, one of the first murals Owen did outside of Baltimore. And he is back now to touch it up and restore it. A downtown Madison Park will be getting a new name next week to honor a local leader who passed away last year. Kerry McGee Triangle Park will be renamed to R. Richard Wagner Park in a ceremony on October 21st. Wagner was Dane County's first openly gay county board member and was a founding member of the National Association and Conference of Gay and Lesbian Public Officials. He died last December. Temperatures are at 51, headed out the door in Madison. Janesville now climbing to 48, 50 for Monroe and Mineral Point, still at 34 in Watoma. But we'll watch those temperatures all warm, not just into the 50s, but the 60s and 70s even. We're a lot of those highs later on this afternoon, so we do have a beautiful day in store. The best rain chance will be across parts of southeastern Wisconsin later on this evening. Otherwise, the true cold front and the better chances for showers and thunderstorms. That's Wednesday morning. Again, the best chances south and east until we get a reinforcing shot of some cooler air Wednesday afternoon. That arrives from the north and west. We'll be a lot cooler for Thursday and Friday in the 40s. 50 Saturday and Sunday. And then my buddy Josh gets to stand into the 20s <laughs> <laughs> early next week. So it is cooling down. All right, Chris, thank you. Get out and enjoy those wonderful temperatures today. We will see you tomorrow.